Welcome to Ocean Studies Online at New Mexico Junior College. This will be a brief introduction to the course and what's expected of you as a student here at NMJC. You've already found your way into the modules page. You either did this by clicking on the modules or you clicked on the click here button. Both will take you to the same location. Once in there, you've probably already noticed that there's a little course information section. This has just a getting started little page and some navigation information. It has your syllabus, but it also has your Respondus Lockdown Browser down here. Respondus Lockdown Browser is what you're going to use to take your chapter tests online. You'll also be using the Respondus Lockdown Monitoring System to take your final exam if you're taking it somewhere other than the NNJC Testing Center. Now going down from there, we have Module 0. Module 0 is going to be where you find your homework for the first week. In Module 0, you're going to find that some of these assignments look like they're repeating from one class to another. And some will be the same. However, in some classes, you'll find that the instructions are slightly modified. And in my class, I have modified a few of these pages. So it's important that you read the instructions carefully and fully to make sure that you're doing the assignment that that instructor is asking you to do. Also right here in this week one getting started is a link to a current ocean studies login check. What this is is actually you'll have some current ocean studies labs to do each week and you'll need to log in to the AMS ocean studies or real time ocean portal to get those labs each week. And this is just a check to be sure that you're able to get in there and you're able to find those labs. If you're having difficulties with this lab, you should be contacting me so I can help you in getting into the system. Now going a little bit further down the page, we see here Chapter 1, Week 2. In here you see that you have your material that's going to be for your lecture, so there's a PowerPoint to go in here. And it's given to you in two formats. There's also an outline for that chapter and some little bit of brief information about that chapter down here. And then from there, there's your chapter homework assignment. When you click into your chapter homework assignments, you're going to see that it says, first thing, do not click the take quiz until you have completed all your homework and are ready to submit your homework answers. This is because if you read the instructions and you follow it down, you see that there is a homework assignment or a file to download. You'll download this file, complete the questions, then you'll return here, click on the quiz, and enter those answers from that file. Now, if we kind of back up, go back to the modules page, you notice that you had that homework. Now, that's your chapter homework. That goes with your lecture. Right below it are the labs. Now, the labs, you have three parts. You have your lab investigation 1A and 1B, so the lab is broken into two pieces. And then you have your current ocean studies that we discussed just a moment ago, and you have a lesson in getting those just above. So every week you have a chapter homework due, you have your lab investigation due, part A and part B, and your current ocean studies lab to complete. Now on top of these, you have two other lessons that are outside of your regular homeworks. That's going to be a critique of a professional scientific paper and then also a problem solution slash critical thinking paper. Now, if you scroll down through the pages, you'll find those, and you can start those at any time. With the, criti with the critique, you're going to be required to submit the article in advance for approval. So you'll also find that there's a place on your homeworks page to submit that as well. Okay, now let's just take a moment to look at the real-time ocean portal and what it'll look at like once you log into it. So we'll bring it up here and we have that real-time ocean portal. When you log into it, you're going to see here that you have your chapter 1, your chapter 2, and then if we come down the page, you'll see a chapter 3 as well. For now, it's only going to show three of the chapters. Each week, this is going to become updated. Now to make room on the page for the new chapter when it comes in, chapter 4, they'll take out chapter 1. So this will happen about two weeks into our class. It hasn't disappeared, however. It's going to come up here and go into this archive up here. So if for any reason you miss downloading 
one of these assignments, you can find it under the archive. Another thing here is it says CWS. Unfortunately, this is a typo. It should say COS for Current Ocean Studies, but it's for chapters 13 through 15. These are chapters that are set alone, and if you click into these, you'll see they're already actually logged in or they're already showing on the AMS webpage. You do have assignments in chapter 14 and 15 that come later in the semester. 14 is the last assignment. 15 is an extra credit assignment that comes before Thanksgiving. These can do, be done early if you wish. You don't have to wait for AMS to post them. So as I said, this was going to just be a brief introduction. If you have questions, please contact me. You can send me an email in your Canvas inbox, or you can call, or you can <clears throat> stop by my office if you're here locally in Hobbs. Welcome to the class.